Hey and welcome to Anderson Alchemy. My name is Jeanette and I'm here to give you your tarot reading for the month of August 2017. This reading is for Capricorn. So if you have a Capricorn rising, sun or moon sign, this reading is for you. If you don't know your rising sun or moon, be sure to get a free natal chart online. My favorite place to go is cafeastrology.com. You will need to know your time of birth, however, in order to get your rising sign. So let's get started, okay? So your overall energy for the month is a 10 of pentacles, which is great. So this tells me that overall the structures for your life in terms of, you know, work and career, uh, finances, health, uh, relationships is the overall theme for the month. And there seems to be a, a good sense of stability here. So that's amazing. And it's a great energy for a Capricorn because, you know, these are the areas that are really of value to you and really make you feel fulfilled. So um, that's nice to see that energy is there kind of like in the background. Now, in the position of your first house, you actually have the strength card, which is one of the major arcana. And the way I see the major arcana is they are um, aspects of the divine, like the actual forces of the universe of nature. These are not things that we have control over. These are influences over our life, uh, but they can also be aspects that we can embody to help us um, have a particular experience. And so being in the first house, which has to do with your sense of self and your self identity and how you are showing up, you know, to have strength here means that you really feel like you're in your power. Um, you know who you are. You've probably accomplished a lot up to this point, especially having uh, the 10 of pentacles that speaks to having come to a place of completion or uh, a manifestation of a goal. So you really are kind of um, sitting pretty this month. Like you really are feeling good about yourself in yourself as yourself. So that's exciting to see. Um, now in your fourth house, you have the energy of the nine of pentacles. So the fourth house has to do with your actual home. Um, it has to be, deal with your emotional um, world, your emotional experience. It's also family and past life issues, subconscious. But for me, what I'm picking up is more home life. So this, this nine of pentacles really speaks to a sense of deep personal fulfillment. And again, it's more earth energy, which is definitely you. So this shows me that this is how you are showing up. This is how you are feeling. You really are feeling abundant. You really are feeling like okay, I love where I am, I love my home, I love my career, I love everything about my life, my life and I feel really secure in myself. Um, so there's a real, again, a real nice sense of power here. Um, but nine is also a, a really independent uh, number as well too. So that means that you know, in your family circles or in your really close relationships, you're really shining through. Um, as someone who is in a position of power and people are really seeing that. So that's that's really nice. Now, in your seventh house, which is the house that has to deal with your relationships, and this is all kinds of relationships, so family, friends, romance, uh, business, you actually have the seven of wands. So this, to me, actually is speaking to some kind of conflict of you having to, you know, keep the higher ground, but you are, you know, on the defensive um, so I'm not sure where that's coming from because you do have, you know, so much positive energy showing up here, but, oh, windy out here, aren't we? <laughs> um, you know, maybe there are folks around you who are not liking this more powerful version of you, uh, who maybe are used to you not shining your light so brightly. You know, this, this strength card is also considered the Leo card and it really is about, you know, showing your true gifts and being who you are and um, allowing the spotlight to be on you. And that may be causing conflict for others because they may not like that. They may not like having the spotlight being taken from them. So, you know, keep your high ground. You stay in your power, which I, I really do see that you will. But just know that there may be some, be some conflicts that show up in um, your relationships this month. Now, in the position of your career sector, uh, your 10th house, you actually have the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands actually speaks to, um, you know, new ventures, new um, networking opportunities 
that's what's that's what I'm picking up for this like there is a desire to expand and reach out and to see what's there you know kind of put some feelers out um, this is also for me a card of expansion and so you know you may be seen as someone who is really rising the corporate ladder quickly um, or people just have the sense that you are going places and they want to be associated with you, which again may, um, that may be why some of this conflict is showing up is that there may be some folks who are kind of challenged by that um, because, you know, things seem to keep happening quickly for you and opening up for you and they're not getting the same kind of experience in their own life. So, you know, haters are going to hate, let them hate, you keep moving, right? <laughs> okay. So in the center of your reading, you have the five of cups. And the Five of Cups actually speaks to, um, well, this placement, I should say, it speaks to um, what's really on your heart, um, what your soul is really um, focused on for this month. And you have the Five of Cups, which is a little bit of a tough energy because it speaks to some kind of loss. And because it's Cups, it's emotional loss. So, um, you know, maybe if this is not business conflict that's showing up, maybe this is actually a relationship conflict that's showing up and it's leaving you um, feeling, you know, kind of left out, kind of like not feeling emotionally supported um, or emotionally fulfilled. And, you know, Capricorn is not necessarily the most emotional sign <laughs> you know it your sense of fulfillment comes in much more practical matters but we all have <laughs> sorry helicopter we all have emotional needs and um i think sometimes we can forget that especially for capricorn energy and you are really probably taking stock this month of you know, with all the fulfillment you have that you do have in your life, those places where you don't, and the work that needs to happen to enable you to um, really have the life that you want in all areas, like not having to have everything be great in like four out of five places, and then like that one place is just still not quite a hundred percent. So the message for that though is to really focus on what you have don't get um, stuck on what has been lost and look to build and create a new foundation um, assuming of course that there is a willingness there like i said there is still that seven of of wands energy and i am feeling more conflictual energy there so you know if this is showing up romantically this may be a fight but you stay on your high ground you stay connected to what you want what your heart's desires are and do not compromise on that. You have way too much going on for you, way too much support, way too much power and abundance and stability to not get this final piece, okay? So um, really sit in your, your strength card energy, your Leo um, energy in this first house um, and really be that powerful Capricorn that you are, okay? Now, if you would like to have a personal reading to kind of delve into your um, specific experience, Feel free to reach out to me. I do tarot, astrology, um, energy healing, and spiritual life coaching. Uh, one other thing, if you have not watched the August astrology video, be sure to watch that because there are massive changes happening this month with the eclipses and the retrogrades. And as a cardinal sign, you definitely want to watch because it's going to be affecting you. Um, it also depends on your houses as well, so be sure to, to look at that. But know that I love you. I send you blessings. Please have an amazing month and I will see you in September. Okay. Bye.